This is take two on the video. First one, horrible. Horrible. Ugh. What's everybody doing? Look, I'm all close. My head's all cut off. Lord. Anyways, I have the cabinet open so you can see the, um, the pretties here. The BJDs, the SDs. They're all good. No one's causing me any grief. No one's left. Um, everybody's behaving and happy and not causing me any grief, which is excellent. And the light is all crazy. Um, first time I made this video, it was just awful. So I figured I better do it again. And I forgot something. Hold on. Please hold. I wanted to show you something and I had put it away. Because, you know, I thought... Ugh. Anyways. So, where have I been? I've been adulting, which is not fun, and wishing for Halloween and fall because it's swelteringly hot. Um, hmm. So I have a few craft things to go over and a little bit of a haul from today, which was kind of exciting in the fact that it was actually a church rummage sale. Like the first one I've been to in like hmm, two years. It was pretty good because it was chock full of stuff. And uh, I must say, that there was a guy there that beat me to the toys and had a big massive like you know stash but that's all right because it really wasn't wasn't really my kind of stuff but i did manage to get a few things to go show you guys a few things in the doll category um little rainbow bright who is awfully cute um i don't know if she's gonna be sticking around i'm not a big rainbow bright fan but she needs to be washed, and it might just be fun to clean her up. She has, like, Velcro hands. Does she hold something? Or just, I don't know what she... I know nothing about her. Obviously, I was a child of the 70s and not the 80s. Anyways, she's cute. I'm not going to go over all this little stuff like I did in the last video because it's kind of nonsense. But there are, like, pieces and parts of junk that my son has already stolen half of that I wanted to use for wheels and stuff. Like, you know, parts and models. Anyways, um, Holly Hobby Family Doll. I don't know which one this is. I don't think it's Holly Hobby. She has a really old tag, which I don't think I can read. I don't even know if it says her name on it. It just says Knickerbocker. Oh, no, Heather. This is Heather. She's cute. It's nice to see another doll with the yarn hair, since I've been doing a lot of yarn hair dolls lately. So, yeah, she's sweet, and she's in really good shape. Good Nick, I guess you would say. Um, what else? Uh, the, the best find of the day is not even doll related. And I didn't show this in the other video. And that's why I was like, I haven't even show what I got. Oh, I put the other dollies away. I'm going to have to. Please hold. Oh, okay. Back. Sorry about that. I, I cleaned up in between, believe it or not. Do you need me to cut something for you? I can do it. All right, you can do it. I was worried about cutting myself. You're not going to cut yourself. Anyways, this great um, Lucky Brand bag, leather bag, which is so cool because I needed a new bag, and it's Lucky Brand, and I love it. It's in really good shape. So that was a good find. <gasps> There's a ladybug! That's, like, lucky, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's just on our table. Leave it alone. And then this is a really awesome thing. This is a... I want to steal that. You're not stealing it. <laughs> it's an Ann Fuller designed um, Jack in the Box from the 80s. And it's like decoupage on the outside so you can see. And it's Rapunzel. I'm just going to turn it so you can see how cool it is. It has like Rapunzel's little story on the back. And I think she did a lot of like little fairy tale Jack in the Boxes. And it opens like this. And then almost like little clothespin dolls inside Ooh, and she just pops up how stinking cute is she and then her hair comes down so you know the prince can come and rescue her it is that would hurt what the prince it's like pulling on her hair like. oh pulling on her hair you watch tango but she's so cute looked painful so yeah i think this was a keeper <laughs> and then i got the camel which i wanted to show you because i don't know oh where's the put the candy i have no idea now i can't show this okay there we go but, oh, I love the top of it. It's got that little, like, looks like an old, you know, pin on there. The camel, who I put him on Instagram to see if anybody knew who he was. He's marked Tommy. I'm guessing he's newer. I really just got him for his feet. 
because I really like his feet. I'm going to have to paint them. Um, I'm probably thinking, when I saw him, I immediately thought of this art doll that I had done uh, a while ago with this um, replicant head. But she's on this, you know, conglomeration of Monster High bodies, and it, I can't get hit. She's just bad. So I, I was thinking it would be great if she had, like, these feet. I don't know if it'll work. It might be too big. Or it might just be really crazy cool. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably pop her head off, see if I can make these short, his legs shorter and his neck shorter and kind of shrink down his size, just have these giant feet and put this head on it. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see. But if anybody knows what this camel is, before I do that, you know, just in case, let me know. But I'm probably just going to do it anyway, so. I don't know. I mean, she, I, she is small, but if I shrink him down an inch, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm? What are you doing? I was thinking maybe putting this head on this because of the feet. What do you oh, think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, anyways. Another project. You have to make it stable. What? It's more stable. It's way more stable. I think he, like, zooms on his own or something. I don't know. I'm a little afraid. Anyways, so that would be a fun project to do. Because, you know, I need more projects. I already have a gigantic project over there that if I gave you a dollhouse tour, what would they say, Sage? Uh, yeah. Because every room is just filled with unfinished projects. How am I doing? Not too good. <laughs> but I did do the bathtub for the dollhouse with, um, I think they're from How to Train Your Dragon. Do you think? thinking. Huh? That was my thinking. Yeah, I think they're from How to Train Your Dragon, and I just put them in the bathtub. I don't know if you can see that. With some put stuck them in there. I'm going to do make it brown and put some moss on it, maybe sturdy. give it some leaves. Huh? Sturdy. What's sturdy? Milliput? Uh -huh. I love that. I love me some milliput. Anyways, and then I have, you know, kind of like roots going down the drain. I thought that was fun. So, yeah, milliput. I've been, obviously, I've been watching a lot of kitten caboodles, and I love them, and they do a lot with milliput, and uh, they're my favorite mud darkers. And I've been watching a lot of mud working. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm watching some, as many doll videos as I can watch, but I am watching a lot of mud larking videos. Just it's always on when she's cooking dinner, etc. I do. I do watch the mud when I'm cooking. Um, but now I got a new show. What Zoe said. Yeah. <gasps> walking Dead people, it is out. <sighs> it's Asian Walking Dead. So I am slowly working on the dollhouse. I do have, like, you know, a whole lot of plans for it. It just doesn't seem to be happening because I've been adulting. Adulting is... Yeah, Sage, thank you. Even you make the face for adulting. It's terrible. Anyways, so I am working on dollhouse. And then what else did I do? The little guys. Guys. Last It was last week. Well, it's got a state sale. And bought all oh, these little it? guys. No, it was two weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? So. Already? Anyways. I really thought that I liked the, you know, the, the maid and the two um, Art Deco girls. But then this little girl with her broken leg said, are you going to make me some, you know, I need uh, something. I need some stuff. So I made her this blue wig, which is not good. Making tiny little wigs like that is not my thing. So I made her a crown. And then as soon as she was done, her brother, who used to be her brother, was on um, Macari, and he said, oh, no, get me off of here, because I need a crazy wig and some glasses, which are, like, crooked and cute. He just punched in the face. He got punched in the face. She got punched in the face. He, she, they, they, were, punched they the face. were punched in the face. Anyways, so I guess... Probably her sister. They're our sisters. Yeah, that's who punched her in the face. Yeah, this one is the mean one. And this one's the troublemaker. Um, I want to thank Lady Basha for the names because as soon as I love the name Thistle, so, uh, Thistle, Tinsel. So she said, oh no, I'm Tinsel. That's Plum. So this is uh, Tinsel and Plum. Huh? Like Susan Plum. Like Susan Plum? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Tinsel and Plum. And I think they're going to be sticking around. And it makes me not like the other ones. But you know what? This one makes me think that my antique Biss dolls in there all need crazy wigs. How fun would that be? I'd have to get some real fiber and not like this. This is just, uh, you know, felting yeah. wool. No, this oh. is like felting wool. But if I got some really nice, like, alpaca 
to make Enola like a crazy wig like that, how awesome would she be? But make? you have to dye it. You can't just be born. No, I'd have to dye it. You're right, Sage. It would be a lot of work. Whole other project. I got no time for. Finish that first. I have a lot to do. Number one thing I should do is have a garage sale. Get rid of some stuff. I have a lot of stuff. If I would just bring home boxes from work, then maybe that would happen. Ugh. Anyways. And then I've been working on this <gasps> guy. What? Is he okay? The ladybug is fine. So I, big Lord of the Rings fan. Um, I love The Hobbit. And my, I, now listen, I love me some Gandalf. I do. But Radagast has a very special place. So he's a very... A He's not the Mad Hatter, he's Radagast. So, I've been wanting to make a Radagast doll for a while, and I said, oh, you know, I gotta, I gotta do it. So, I had this head lying around, made him a body. He's just a, just a wire body with yarn wrapped around it, and then felted over it, and then this great paper that came, it was like, you know, what's it called? But it was like packaging from work, something that came in from work, with this packaging on it, and I said, I have to have that. So, that's his body. I like it. Oh, his hat is made out of a denim shirt, and he has a nest in the top. Just so you can see his crazy looking face. I love it. Huh? I love it. I, love it. I want to do the bird poop down the side of his head, because he has, like, bird poop that comes down from the birds. And then I made, I'm making a little bird. Um, that's not the right word for poop. Why? I'm supposed to say shit? Yeah. I said bird poop. Bird shit. Bird shit, whatever. So, I made a little clay face. Just to go on the burb. Is that Larry's face? It is Larry's face. <gasps> I'm smart. Yeah. So that'll just sit up there. Oh my god, it's so fun. And then I kept thinking, um, a rat, I guess, has this great cart, and it's like, you know, driven by rabbits. And I was like, oh, you know, Libby sent me that wonderful rabbit. He's kind of like in the in the defunct circus that isn't doing anything. So I'm like, ooh, maybe the rabbit will want to hang out with rat, I guess. He also has this amazing staff, but I don't make very good staffs. I've been trying to make Libby a staff for like ever now, and I keep, I've made four, and they've all, I've broken all of them, so I don't know if I'm going to make Radagast staff. That, you have that giant staff. I do have that giant staff. It would have to be like a staff made out of wood, and I'd have to like carve it. Uh oh. Battery notification. Are we good? We're still good. Um, notice his hands and his feet aren't done yet, so. And that is pretty much all I have. Let's bring Rapunzel over here because she's so cute. Oh, um, where'd my ladybug go? Oh, I don't know. Bring her outside. I don't know where it went. So, um, thanks to anybody who's been making videos. I have been watching. Um, probably haven't been co commenting because I usually watch while I'm making dinner. And, um, like I said, I've been watching <gasps> a lot of mudlarkers. And you know who I've been watching? Um, I like to spook myself out because I like mysteries. You know, I'm a big, big fan of mysteries and, you know, treasure hunting and all that stuff. Um, I've been spooking myself out by watching a lot of true crime videos lately. And I it's must crazy say... Crazy. Huh? Crazy. I know. Anybody who likes... In the BJD hobby, we tend to love like all the wonderful storytellers. And i got to say, if you like true crime, you got to watch that Stephanie I'm Harlow. I'm bringing them outside. Because it's Stephanie Harlow. She is an amazing God. storyteller. And she's snarky. So <laughs> and, you know, she gets really snarky. And if you like Lizzie Borden... Oh my god, watch her Lizzie Borden uh, special. It is the best. It is like probably the best on Lizzie Borden I've ever seen. Um, and I've been to Lizzie Borden house, which is like wicked cool. And if you ever get a chance, I would highly recommend it because it's super creepy. Um, but yeah, it, she does the best Lizzie Borden that I've ever seen. And Say free it's play great. outside. Huh? Say, did Lizzie Borden kill him? Did, he, did she do it? I don't know about Lizzie Borden. Um, I would say yes. I think I think I'm the of the lady. theory of that that she wore her father's coat and then put it underneath his head when he was asleep, you know, after. But I don't want to get into Lizzie Borden right now. The ladybug is safely outside. Good job, Sage. So from all of us here at the House Peculiar, yep. I hope you guys have a wonderful, fun, filled, exciting week. Um, hopefully, with the storm that's coming to yeah. New York, it won't be too exciting here. Hopefully Wait, just some rain. Do you think powers want to go out? I just hope everybody stays safe. That's all I hope. Let's go out I'm safe because it's a little huh? <laughs> Don't be scared. Oh, I'm scared because I won't have my internet. Anyway, so yes. stay safe. Um, be good to each other, and thanks for watching and hanging out with us tonight. Love have you. a great day. Bye.